Hello once again YouTube and welcome to this unpackaging video with the SS Motion. So today we have got some Series 7 and we have got uh, quite a lot of them. I'm saving about 20 or 30 of them for um, Bloxfest next year but the ones I just showed you, the ones I'm going to open, I'm going to use scissors and be really good about it. And uh, I'm probably going to put this in two parts to just sort of span it out so you don't get bored. So um, let's get the first packet open, shall we? I absolutely love opening mystery figures. It's one of the best things about Halo Mega Bloks. And uh, Series 7 is getting quite old now. But uh, I, I still like it. It was the only set that actually had like 16 figures. Um, the main point about this is I have checked all the codes. I don't know what the codes are, but I know that there's no duplicates in what I'm opening. So first of all, we have got the UNSC Marine. This is literally one of my favourite figures from this set. I think it looks awesome. Um, they purposefully released the Halo Reach and the uh, Halo 4 Marine in this set. And uh, the Halo Reach one, I think it hold, holds a bigger place in my heart. I used to love Halo Reach, one of my favourite Halo games. And um, the detailing on this one just wins it over, really. Especially with that camo trousers there. So hopefully, like I said, I've not checked the codes. I'm hoping to score some, uh, blind, some uh, chase figures. But uh, there's our first one. Those chase figures are obviously just for uh, display purposes, just to show you. And because they look nice. They do look very nice. So currently in my collection, I've got one of the green recruits, two of the blue elites, um, two, two of the yellow master chiefs, and two of the elite oranges. So uh, looking forward to getting some more if I can. And uh, the second figure is the blue Spartan. This was a common and... Uh, is a really nice one to do. The head is struggling to get on. I remember the days when uh, you didn't even have to uh, build the mystery figure. It was just complete in the box. Those were the days. Mind you, it was much easier to actually feel what the figure was. Um, mind you, back then, you didn't even have chase figures. Uh, you only had the series, like the, the single ultra rare active camo, but even that was advertised on the bag. So chase figures were only introduced in series 5 with three Spartans, followed by series 6 with three elites, and then we were on to this one with these four chase figures. So we have the blue Spartan, a common, but a really nice one indeed. I think I'll get the manual out so I don't make any mistakes on which are commons, which are rares, whatever. Um, yeah, as I thought, the marine and Spartan are both commons. Right, next one. I think there's 14 to open, so I'll get 7 in this video, 7 in the next, I'll move that out of the way for now. Okay, what have we got next? Okie dokie, so we've got uh, probably uh, my, one of my favourite figures, um, I think the Elite, the, the ODST might be my favourite, I just love ODSTs. But uh, yeah, here we have the very, very menacing uh, Storm Elite from Halo 4. And that arm oh, is really, I'm really struggling to get these on today. And the marine just fell over. But um, yeah, this is the this is an elite from Halo 4. Um, an excellent figure indeed. The mold is great. He's a really big, bulky figure, so he kind of feels menacing. Because some of the Halo figures, although I love them to bits, and although I love the cheekiness of the old mold grunt, that thing just does not look menacing. And you know, you need a, you need a bit of menacing in your army. So uh, there we go. That is that elite. And I believe that's a common as well. Let's try and get some rares and ultra rares, shall we? Right, off goes the top of that one. Ah ha ha! Speak of the devil. We have got just what I was talking about before, the Tan ODST. This is a lovely figure, absolutely lovely. Um, I love when they do the inverse colours on the ODSTs. I think it looks a lot better uh, than the standard colours. They did it with the new blue ODST, which is the Walmart slash Asda exclusive. And they also did it with the red one that was the, uh, uh, it was sort of like the versus one, I think it was given out at conventions. And then they've also done it a couple of other times with anniversary packs and stuff, so they're really good. So that's uh, another common. Uh, let's move on to this one. Number five. Number five. Let's move that packaging out of the way so I don't get busted up. Aha! So, another common again. But we have got the Marine. So, uh, yeah, we got both the Reach and the Halo 4 Marine, which is always nice. Um, let's just quickly put him together. Yeah, he's a, 
He's a really nice loose figure. His pieces go together well. So yeah, I'm I'm all for the uh, the new Halo uh, four marine design. We did get this figure in the armory pack as well. Although the armory pack was re released with a black marine as well. Thank you, Ben Knowles, for getting me that bringing it to Bloxfest because I was in need of that thing. comes with a railgun, which is probably the best weapon in this set for when it came out because the railgun was just brand new, and this pretty much came out with Halo 4, so uh, everyone wanted that railgun. So, uh, yeah, there's the Halo 4 Marine. Very nice indeed. Let's get the next one open. Okay. Ha, 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 yes. So... We have got our first mystery figure, guys. We have got the yellow Master Chief. An epic figure. Absolutely awesome. He looks amazing in yellow. Yellow is one of my favourite mystery figure colours. I love the yellow grunt that comes with a uh, Series 9. And, uh, yeah, the, the, well, the Mountain Dew is sort of yellow, I guess. I like the Mountain Dew uh, Elite. Right, there we go. We have got the Master Chief in partial uh, yellow active camo which you have got to love. That guy looks awesome. And then with chase figures, we are just blessed with a second figure. It's the yellow EOD in this occasion. Um, I believe uh, with the orange one, it's the jump pack brute. With the blue one, it's the black CQB. And with the green one, you know, I'm not sure which one comes with the green one. It might be the Halo 4 Marine. Unsure on that one. Uh, post a comment in the description in the comments below if you know. Oh, whoa! Look at that hand! Look at that hand. That is broke. I'm glad I have a lot of spare hands. That is <laughs> that is completely broke. <laughs> That's really weird. Uh, well, this, these kind of things happen when they're being uh, manhandled in warehouses. Right, so we've got a yellow EOD. How many does that make? Six. Right, last one of this episode. And then you can just jump on in a couple of days to the next episode. And we can do another one and it'll all be happy and good and lovely and we'll all have a good time. Right, okay, this one feels like a bulky one. Let's get it out. Ah, yep, yeah, there we go. This one, I have made mistakes before in feeling the packs and thinking this was a, uh, a chase figure. Because of this big... Because usually when I'm looking for chase figures, I feel for two bodies. That's pretty much the dead giveaway. And um, this one obviously has... Um, this jump pack that pretty much makes it feel like a body. <laughs> so uh, these legs aren't going on too well. Let's just force that on. Oh. Oh, no. Okay, I just noticed we have only got one arm on the desk. Are we missing an arm? I mean, I've got spare brute, uh, jump pack brute arms. That's not a problem. But uh, that's a bit annoying that we are. I think we are. Yeah, the pack's empty. Uh, we are missing a brute arm. So we have opened seven today, and we are missing a limb. <laughs> uh, it's not the worst thing in the world. Um, I can just replace it. I've got loads of uh, brute jump packs just chilling about in boxes. So there we go. That is part one of the Series 7 opening. Check out YouTube to see if I've uploaded part two yet. It'll be in a couple of days after this one. And um, yeah, Yellow Master Chief is the big pull there, guys. Um... We did get a rare with the Jump Pack Brute, and obviously the Yellow EOD is a rare as well if you class that. Um, and yeah, the rest are commons, but still a very nice haul. And uh, yeah, give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Uh, we are currently running a competition on our new Facebook page, uh, new Facebook page, Megablox Worldwide. Um, head over to Megablox Worldwide. I'll probably leave a uh, link in the description below, and uh, you can enter our competition to win a sealed Brute Chieftain charge. Um, what else? A Bloxfest poster and an SDCC 2013 Spartan. So it's all to play for. And uh, yeah, uh, see you next video, guys.